So let's plug it in. Obstacle boring. Hi guys. Today I am going to make a small water dispenser. You can either call it a prank device or else a fun toy. So let's start. So the materials needed are a pump, a bottle and a straw. I have taken the pump's wire as like this. This is a 6 volt pump and it's commonly it's easily available. This is a breadboard, an ultrasonic sensor, Arduino and 4 jumper wire. That's all we need. So let's start. And the reason we have four, only 4 jumper wire is that we need to connect these 4 terminals of the ultrasonic sensor. These two can easily be connected directly to the Arduino. That's why. So first, the G and D pin can be, should be connected to the G and D pin. Echo pin to pin 3 Trigger pin to pin 2 and VCC to 5 volt. So the reason I have connected echo in pin 3 and trigger in pin 2 is echo pin is the pin which tells the distance. The distance of how far the sensor is from the object. So it will vary. Can you see this mark over here? In pin 3, in front of pin 3. This is what means that it can vary. This means it's an analog pin. Even though it's in the digital pin section, if you see that mark, it means that, pin, that particular pin is an analog pin and the other one is a digital pin. The difference is the digital pin processes data as on or off. But what analog does is it calculates the, the portions which are in the middle of on and off. The digital always processes data in 1 or 0 value. But the analog pin can change the value. Like 1 to 10, like that. But the digital can't. It's on or off. So that's the difference. And the reason I have chosen pin 2, which is a digital pin for trigger pin is we need to send a signal which is on and then off to the ultrasonic sensor. 2 is the right pin. But for the echo pin, it has a variation. Example, the object might first be in 10 centimeters, then 20 centimeters. It's not just on or off. It needs to calculate that the variation. That's why it's connected into pin 3. This is the ultrasonic sensor stuff. And now let's do it for the DC motor. For, so for the pump, let's connect it into pin 4. As I said, digital pins are used here because the pump should be on or off. It doesn't need to flow in a certain level, in a certain variation. So that's enough. And then there is another GND over here. Connect the GND pin of the motor there. So then it's done. Let's go to the code. Guys, first type Tinkercad. Enter.
then you get this link. Then go to circuits, create new circuit. It takes some time to load and take the Arduino Uno a breadboard. This one, there are two types of ultrasonic sensors. This one has a middle signal pin. Instead of that, the other ultrasonic sensor has the trigger and echo pin. So, it's better to choose the ultrasonic sensors accordingly. Next, the G and D pin goes over here, B, C, C over here, and then for a pump, DC motor is a pump. Although pumps have a DC motor inside them, let, let it just be like this. So then the anode, which is the red pin, should be connected to pin 4, then trigger, pin 2, echo, pin 3. Code, click variables. Raw Sonic. Then input read ultrasonic sensor and then trigger pin pin 2 as well as the echo pin pin 3. If you need to change this to send inches you can but since I use it as centimeters let it be then if then else and repeat while math click this block here and then if ultrasonic ultrasonic is less than let's say 20 centimeters then set pin 4 to high which means pin 4 would be on which is the pin of the motor Pin 4 to low. That means the pin 4 won't be on. Start simulation. So, if you 6 centimeters, see the motor is moving. So, in this case, the pump is pumping water. Let's connect the Arduino to the PC. So, then code stop simulation by the way and then as you can see this blocks it should become blocks and text so now you get a whole set of code copy it copy then delete control plus v paste so, to check if the Arduino software has any more issues with this code, verify. Then, you can save it wherever you want. I'm just simply saving it on the de desktop. Compiling sketch. If the message comes as done compiling, that means you are ready to go. You can move towards the next step which is uploading so guys we have uploaded the code in our Arduino let's see how it works it runs 
Let's go test it out. So guys, here we have some red colored water, a battery with this pin, which we can power the Arduino with. Make sure the Arduino doesn't get wet, by the way. Let's pour the water into the chamber. Okay, I'd be standing as the obstacle and this would spray water. So let's try in three, two, one. So you can see there's an obstacle. So the motor is pumping water. So guys, you can redirect the water towards somebody else for a small prank. So when they step over here, the motor will be on and it would spray water. It's Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.